Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel, hi I'm Asimatic. Today we have really interesting exponential equation, 2 to the x equal to x to the power 32, and we need to find our x. If you have your answer, you can also write your answer down into the comment section, and write your suggestion down into the comment section, we will check your answers here in just few minutes, so it will, it will be really interesting. So first of all, let's try to group our constant on the left side, and our variables on the right side. So let's raise both sides to the power 1 over x. So first of all, let, let's write our question, so we have 2 to the power x equal to x to the power 32. So first of all, let's raise both sides to the power 1 over x. Okay, raise both sides to the power 1 over x. When we raise our left side, so we have 2 to the power x, we raise to the power 1 over x, okay? And we do the same thing with our right side, so equal to x to the power 32 raised to the power 1 over x. So we change nothing, we just raise both sides to the power to the power 1 over x. Right now we need to know a really great property, the basic school property, our basic school power rule, if we have a to the power m raised to the power n, it will be equal to a to the power m times n. So we need to multiply our, our powers. As a result, on the left side we have 2 to the power x times 1 over x equal to x to the power 32 times 1 over x. Okay, so right now let's multiply it. Basically on the left side we can easily cancel this x, so as a result we have only 2 on our on our right side. On the right side we have x to the power 32 divided by x, we can write it as a, as a fraction. Okay, really great. Right now, as I told before, we need to group constant on the left side and variables on the right side. We have a constant on the left, but basically we have right here this 32. When we raise on the right side, or not on the right, on both sides, when we raise to the power 1 over 32, we can easily cancel this 32. So we will have only our axis on the right side and have a constant on the right on the left side. Let's do this. So we have 2 to the power 1 over 32 equal to x to the power 32 over x and raised to the power 1 over 32. As I told before, we need to multiply this express these both fractions, 32 over x times 1 over 32, so we can easily cancel this 32, which helps us a lot. So right now we have 2 to the power 1 over 32 equal to x to the power 1 over x and this is a really great first step. So I hope you understand the thing, I hope you understand this trick. So right now we have a constant on the left side and our variables on the right side. It was our, it was our first step. Right now there is a tricky moment right here. I really hope you understand what I'm going to do on the left side. First of all, instead of this 1 over 32, instead of this 1 over 32, I'm going to write it as 2 over 64, okay? This is absolutely the same fraction, but right now I'm going to change this 1 over 32 by 2 over 64, okay? I hope you understand this, this trick right here. So we have 2 to the power 2 over 64, 2 over 64 equal to x to the power 1 over x. But this 2 over 64 we can write as like that. So we can write this one as 2 times 1 over 64, okay? This is absolutely the same expression. So let's do this. Instead of this 2 over 64, let's write this one. As a result, we have, we have 2 to the power 2 times 1 over 64, okay? 1 over 64 equal to x to the power 1 over x. And right now, really, really tricky moment, because in the beginning, I wrote this, this rule, a to the power m times n. In this case, we have this product, but in the same way, we can easily take one of these expression, one of this constant, inside parentheses. So we can easily write this one as 2 to the power 2 inside parentheses raised to the power 1 over 64, okay, equal to x to the power 1 over x. So I hope you understand this step. If we go back, we can multiply 2 times 1 over 64, which is equal to 1 over 32. So this is absolutely the same thing. In these four lines, this is absolutely the same, the same thing. But right now, 2 to the second power equal to 4, which is really great. So we have 4 to the power 1 over over 64 equal to x to the power 1 over x. And right now let's do absolutely the same step as we did it before. Okay, we have 1 over 64, okay? So this 1 over 64 can be written as 2 over 128. Okay, absolutely the same fraction when we cancel this by 2, we have absolutely the same fraction, but we can also write it as 2 times 1 over 128. 
okay so right now instead of this 1 over 20, 1 over 64 let's write this one 2 times 1 over 128 as a result we have 4 to the power 2 times 1 so we have 2 times 1 over 128 equal to x to the power 1 over x really great and right now absolutely the same thing we can easily bring these two inside parentheses so we have 4 square to the power 1 over 128 which is equal to x to the power 1 over x and right now 4 square equal to equal to 16 so we have 16 to the power 1 over 120 28 and a lot of students ask me why I do the thing right here because we we like we like don't solve it we just uh, we just change right here this power but if we do this step once more let's do the thing once more so instead of this one over one hundred twenty eight one over one hundred twenty eight let's write two over two hundred fifty six and in the same way we can write this one as the as two times one over two hundred fifty six so instead of this one over one hundred twenty eight let's write this one. 2 times 1 over 156 which is absolutely the same thing okay so we have 16 to the power 2 times 1 over 256 equal to x to the power 1 over x and right now the final step right here we can easily bring these two inside parentheses as we did it right here as we did it right here so in this in these two two cases as a result we have 16 square to the power 1 over 200 256 which is equal to x to the power 1 over x right now 16 square 256 so we have 256 to the power 1 over 256 which is equal to x to the power 1 over x and right now if you look closely we have the same model of fraction we have a base we have a base we have one we have one we have um, absolutely the same thing right here so we have 256 256 so we have it uh, looks like a to the power 1 over a equal to x to the power 1 over x so one and only one case that this equation will have root when x equal to 256 so we need to have the same base and the same power one is absolutely the same thing and the last step is is our power and in, the, in both cases we have absolutely the same expression because one and only way that this equation will have root when base equal to base and exponent equal to exponent in um, in one moment so x equal to x equal to 256 okay 256 but this is really a tricky question because this question we solve according to according to power rules but basically if you're talking about this type of question when we have like 2 to the x equal to x to the power 32 it happens that this type of question when we have on both exponential function on both sides on the left and on the right it happens right here that we find easily of a solution but for example if we have like 2 to the x equal to x to the power like uh, 15 something like that we can easily do this step but we're not sure that we that we will solve this challenge that we can easily find this obvious root as right here so for these cases, when you can solve this challenge by, by power rules, we need to know about Lambert, Lambert W function. Lambert W function. So don't forget about this. Remember, because for other cases, you need to know about Lambert W function. But this question is really great to practice your power rules. So I hope you, I hope you understand my explanation. Right now, let's check it. Let's check this 256 because uh, it happened sometime that maybe this is not a correct root. Uh, but let's check it. We have 2 to the power x, uh, but I don't have enough space. Let's go, for example, like that on the left side. So I hope you understand about Lambert W function. In this case, it's great to use a power rules. But basically, for other cases, we need to know about Lambert W function. Function. So right now let's check this x equal to 256. For example, let's go in the beginning. Let's check it. So we have 2 to the power x. Okay, 2 to the power x equal to x to the power we have right here 32. And we know that x equal to x equal to 256. Let's check it. Let's see what will happen. So prove we have 2 to the x. So we have 2 to the power 256 equal to 256 to the power uh, 32. Yeah, to the power 32 how can we how can we solve it okay 256 let's write a 2 to the 8th power so we have 2 to the power 256 equal to 256 this looks like 2 to the 8th power now we have 2 to the 8th 2 to the 10th 124 here yeah, we have 2 to the 8th power right here and we raise all of the thing to the power 32 and right now the final thing 8 times 32 equal to 256 so we have 2 to the power 
256 equal to 2 to the power 256, which is really great. So as you can see, we prove this rule according to a power rules, basically. Yeah, we don't need this Lambert W function. Each of these steps is according to power rules and according to like a, a tricky moves right here, because this is like very tricky move we, you can solve the, you can find the solution in a book right here you can find this algorithm how can we solve this question this is like a tricky move which which getting us closer and closer to the to the final answer which is which is really great so our final answer x equal to 256 right here we can easily see a proof to this question you can easily see this solution you can also pause the video and write your solution down into the comment section and also thank you for your support thank you for your time i hope you learned something new and i hope you you enjoyed this video i try my best to make new content every day to make new videos every day which is really great i guess for everyone because a lot of students a lot of teacher i'm not sure how how much person like watch my videos uh, if you're talking about students teacher but i guess a lot of students a lot of people who love math watch my watch my channel so i really appreciate it if you have your notes your your response about my channel about my videos you can also write your response down into the comment section i try my best to improve each of this video to improve each of each of this content right here so i hope you you understand it you enjoy it thank you for your time wish you all the best in your life thank you for your support thank you for your for your kind words for your bad words yeah it happens sometimes that maybe this is not that good video that you expect it happens sometime i'm a human so yeah it happens sometime yeah so thank you for your time thank you for your support see you in the next videos have a great day and love mess